rather we find that the tragedy of Imam al Hussein, alayhi salatu wa salam, is something like that which is prehistoric. Something that far before the advent of the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Far beyond the time of Adam. Far beyond the period of the Adam of love. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The moment that he creates the universe, and he creates it from the light of Rasulullah Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, and from the light of Rasulullah creates the light of Ali, and from the light of Ali creates the, the light of Fatima, and from her light creates the light of Imam al-Hasan, and Imam al-Hussein, and from their light, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he creates everything else, according to our narrations, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, appointed Abba Abdul Abba Hussein, alayhi salatu wa salam, to be this message, to be this ummah, to be this revolution. And from that time, everything that was created after Allah had been back the same, we're told about the tragedy which is going to take place in the temple of the Haram, in the plains of the Haram. But we see that though the tragedy, though the messages of Allah had been saying, Ali Salatu was not, it lived or has been living for thousands upon thousands of years. The sanctity of the member of the Muhammad Hussein, Ali Salatu Salam, or the member of the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, has often tried to pursue different routes and different methods and different perspectives, failing to adhere to what the principles of the Ahl Bayt after the Salatu Salam. Which is why we see that this failure of the ideology or the principles of Imam al Hussein, that which he established on the day of Ashura, this idea of, uh, in the name of reformation or in the name of progressivism or in the name of liberalism, that we need to do things differently or we need to, you know, uh, have a different scope in terms of our religion, this ideology that's been creeping up in our communities is not something new. People have long tried to use this member of this culture, the blessed name of the Holy Prophet, so the Lord had a new eye, so the Prophet can propagate one way or another. But we see that on these days of Muharram, these first 10, 12 days, it is very important that we go back to what the teachings of the other faith are in the Salatu To go back and to make a commitment to the Prophet to say, Ali Salam, that we will adhere to your principles that we will adhere toward your rituals, and we will honor you in every way possible that will bring about a change within our heart, and certainly after that, the gospel. We see, for instance, that the Mexicans of Imam Hussein, Ali Salatu wa Salam, has taken many different variations. We see, for instance, primarily, the Mexicans of Imam Hussein, Ali Salatu wa Salam, is used for a means of an educational act that took about throughout history, you know, that within these first ten days of the Hadra, those individuals passed who would never come to the Mexican, they never come to Kasabia, they will come to the Mexican. And often they use the member to educate people, to remind people about basic principles, about ways, basic tenets, and so on and so forth. Similarly, we come forth and we see that the Mexican of the Mammoth is saying, Ali Salatu wa Salam also has a social aspect. That when we come toward the messenger, when we come toward the center, we meet our friends and we meet our family members and we meet our community members, those who perhaps we haven't seen for months, for years, and often have to try to bridge gaps between people during these days in the name of Hussein, Ali Salatu wa Salam. We see that the message of the Lord of Hussein, Ali Salam, has historically until this very day, for good or for bad, depending on how you look at it and depending on the circumstance, has been used as a political tool. We see, for instance, the Abbasid, the, 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 the Abbasid revolution that tried to overtake the Iranians, they would use the phrase, the rallying cry, the Ramah and the Islam. For the contemporaries, for the happiness and the hatred, they would come and they would wear black clothing. And they would go and they, they would try to wage a war against the Iranians, and they promised to her those community members that the reason and the purpose why we are going to perform it. This revolution of the Omeyyads is because they killed the Muhammad Hussein and he wanted to be happy with that. In reality, the Muhammad Hussein, perhaps, were worse in terms of their oppression and their 
On the flip side, we see the political revolution that was also used by the means and the message of the modern say, Ali Sarah was not during the time of the Abbas and Khalifa. We find, for instance, from during the time of the Maid as well. For instance, we see a man by the name of the Maid of Invade and Asadi. The Maid of Invade and Asadi is one of the poets of the epic of Persia, Ali Sarah was not. And let me just open up a quick note for you. This poetry that we start to talk about, this is actually on the back of the book, is something that is fantasized by the minds of the people. And it's something that we need to carry on. It's something that we need to continue to teach our children and teach our community. And it's something that we need to partake in. For it is one of the main reasons why, why, why today we are sitting here and remembering the Bible. I'm sure we can discuss that in the future now. The main thing is that it has to would write poetry against the Arabians in order to repel them, in order to speak out against them, uh, against them during the time of Imam al Baba and during the time of Imam al-Sad, Ali Sarachi al-Sad, he would write poetry of the days of Muhammad. When we come, for instance, to the Majid of Muhammad and say, before the grieving ceremony, he would recite lines of poetry, and in it he would throw symbols out toward the congregation, which would condemn the oppression of the Khulafa during that time, or, or, or during the Abhidmanaka, uh, or Abhidmanakis, during that time. But only the close followers of the Abhidmanaka would understand his symbol, or would understand his mouth. This is why the Majjus of the Lord of the Prophet, Ali Sarachi was not something that you It has many different phases, but the primary phase of the Majjus of the Lord of the Prophet, Ali Sarachi was not something that I want to discuss very briefly tonight. In terms of allowing for spiritual revolution to take place. One of the titles of Abba Abdullah is the Prophet, Ali Sarah, who is known as Abu Al-Bah, who is known as the father of Islam. Many people, when they reflect upon this particular line or on this particular title of Abba Abdullah, Ali Sarah, they will immediately jump towards the conclusion that you just read him in terms of him being a social activist. From a very political title and so on and so forth. But rather, the Bible is saying, well, if we only speak about the Bible and say, in terms of this regard, we are limiting, we are limiting the personality of the Messiah. Rather, we see that the Bible is saying, that the Bible is saying, is not only known as the father of freedom because he was a social activist, but he has one thing to say in terms of the value of the social activist. George Washington has said that. Souls to be shot at the point of death. But the Imam of the Sayyid of Ali Sarah is the means for us to get back to the point of death. Imam of the Sayyid of Ali Sarah frees, our, frees ourselves from the point of death. Imam of the Sayyid of Ali Sarah is the means for us to reach success in this life and in the life. The lamp of guidance and the art of salvation that comes toward the Mount of Sada and the state of my state of God. Aren't you all the ships for salvation? Don't you all take us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Yes, we are all the means to take you towards salvation. We all take you towards God. We all take you towards paradise. But the ship of the state of Ali Sarah is the most spacious and the quickest of taking you towards the destination. But before I get into the main point of my discussion, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this first night of Muharram that we are amongst those who have another opportunity to remember, to recall, to revive our hearts by the blessing. The message of Imam Hussein Ali Salaam, as I mentioned, is something truly dynamic. And we see, as I mentioned, that the number of Imam Hussein has been used for many things for the last several centuries. But we see that in light of the world that we live in today, 
but each and every one of us in reality are a member of the same Alayhi Salaam was For every one of us, we have a responsibility to teach the Muslim of the But in light of historical circumstances, in light of social events that are taking place across the world, specifically in terms of marginalizing the Shia of Imam al Hussein Alayhi Salaam, each and every one of us have a responsibility to work on the Muslim And this responsibility is to show and to demonstrate the light of the faith it's important to see that while the number of Imam al Hussein Ali Salam serves its purpose within the Hussein, within the Messiah, within the Islamic center, for the followers of Ali Salam, the message of Ali Salam is not limited to the Prophet of Ali Rather, the message of Imam al Hussein Ali Salam is not something to the rest. The message of Imam al Hussein Ali Salam has the ability to penetrate the hearts of every individual. Our responsibility to become among like those who are the most who are the most and the most and the most and the the most and 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 the other ideologies, they have this idea or they have this concept of performing that one. For instance, if you go and uh, you're, you know, during the days of Christmas, for instance, you might find that the Jehovah's Witness, they come to your home and they knock your door. And they begin to tell you about the greatness of Jesus, Ali Salaam. They begin to tell you about the wonders of Isa and about his mercy and about his justice and about his purity and so on and so forth. Then their means of performing community outreach toward those Around. If you go to universities, for instance, in the United States, perhaps over here in the UK, we have an establishment known as the Muslim Students Association. You go and you find this ideology, oftentimes, you know, following a Salafi Wahhabi school of thought. They come and they try to preach their ideology in universities for young people and so on and so forth. And oftentimes, they're very successful. But we go and we see that the followers of Ali Bey, Ali Musalat, don't necessarily have something. Which, are, which they use primarily as a means of performing outreach. And what we have to use is the name of Hussein, Ali Sarachi Muslim, and allow it to penetrate the question. And this is in reality not something no Thus, I've outlined a couple of important steps that each and every one of us needs to do and needs to take within these things in order to allow people to be exposed to the name of Hussein and Ali Muslim, Ali Sarachi Muslim. Number one, each and every one of us. We have to use whatever means or whatever modes that we have possible to demonstrate to the world the personality of the same. I mentioned that every one of us are in reality the manifestation of the member of Islam of the same, Ali Salaam Shah Salaam, because every one of us, for instance, has social values. If every one of us today were in the Islam of the same, go on Facebook, go on Twitter, go on Instagram, whatever, and they put one line, one hadith, one narration, like Imam al Hussein, Ali Salaam Shah Salaam. Imagine the potential, the number of people who would be exposed to a hadith of Imam al Hussein. Imagine if every one of us, we go online tonight and we place one line from the dua of Imam al Hussein, which is something to Imam al Hussein. This most perfect, perfect, this most uh, immaculate. There are maybe the greatest supplications that we have in the school of the other day is we take the line from the Imam of Hussein and we show the world exactly the words of Hussein to Imam of Hussein. That's it. They would call the world with the personality of a man to this day. Number one, we need to use every single means possible that we can to bring people towards the message of Imam of Hussein. Number two, we need to be sincere in this message. You can see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down 124,000 prophets. And when they come and when they preach toward their community, and they try to bring people toward the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, toward the message of morality, toward the message of mercy and of justice and of peace and of beauty and of love, and all of these kinds of things, they're told that they can't be no prophet. 
What can we do for you? How can we offer you something? God, the light is dark. We want to tell you I don't even want to see I don't want anything in this world. I don't want anything for what I'm doing. The only thing that I see is that I want to see If every one of us became vessels for the message of the Bible, I said, I didn't set out to set out. And we did it full of sincerity for our love of Allah and Allah. Solely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The message that comes in our hearts will take the place of everything. But we spoke sincerely about bringing people who were the values represented by Ali Abdullah and Hussein, Ali Salatu Islam, who wouldn't be the one. We go and we speak for instance to Nobu. Ali Salatu, he preaches for 900 years. Or 80 followers, or 800 followers, 950 years. Yet we think the highest number is 800 followers. According to narrations, that's not one follower of 100 preaching. Imagine the struggle. Imagine the difficulty of just bringing the message of the Lord back to the Lord. Very challenging. It's extremely difficult. But alhamdulillah, we have the same matter. And it shouldn't be very difficult to bring people toward the legacy of Allah and Hussein. I used to ask him, as long as you do it, with a sincere preparation, tell us what to do. But if a speaker speaks from his tongue, it only goes toward the heart. But if he speaks from his heart, it goes toward the heart of those who are not. If we are sincere in bringing people toward the message of Allah and Hussein, toward the message of Allah and Hussein, I am Muslim Salah to the Salah, and we will start to see people continuously be moving towards the path that they want to be able to say, I am Muslim Salah to the Salah. Now, this is tell us, for instance, that during the battle of Sikh Sikh, the Bahadi Ali Salah on his side had one companion. On his, uh, on the opposing side, the side of Muawiyah, this companion brother, two brothers, fighting on two opposite sides of the battle. The one on the side of the leader of the lover of Ali and 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 this kept it on the small side. This companion shows us that as you get closer and closer to the town, the hour that you cross the ground, the way you can. As he's approaching, he calls out to the brother, he tells us to back to the brother of Baal. Immediately, the brother on the side of Baal begins by speaking about the character of Baal. Baal is this, Baal is that, and so on and so forth. The one on the side of Baal is the king. He says, if you see that I'm hiding from this great that he's got, I promise you, the one on the side of Baal is telling his brother, I promise you, if you come toward our side, that I will grant you to you become invisible. You come to this side. But I'll tell you this you come for one moment and just be exposed toward the Mabali Ali Salam, that's all I ask you. If you choose to not support the Mabali, no problem, go back to the Mabali and his face. He says, if you know what's harm, leave him the one thing. The condition is that if you grant me community, tell this brother, if you grant me community, I enter it. No one can kill me, no one can imprison me, so on and so forth. Because I guarantee you, I promise you, if you enter and you come to the presence of Ali Ali Salah, nothing will happen to you. All I ask is that you see it, Ali, that you suffer this because of me. He doesn't talk about it. He doesn't face the Ali. And he doesn't say anything about it. At this moment, he doesn't say anything about it. He doesn't face the Ali of the Ali of the Ali. And he says, I don't know how to do that. 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 He says that the moment that I see the face of Ali of the Ali of the Ali of the Ali of the Ali, I testify that this is the leader of the Ali. 
what just happened? Sometimes the parts of the other thing are not as bad as that. But it can only be a true reality for those who are true deceived. And the way of Muhammad just happened for a couple of days. The fishing that went around, what did they say? As soon as they saw the faces of the Ahim, they, I mean, of course, God just said, what happened? They began to run toward them. And they said, oh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, don't perform the Mubarak. And then they said, that if these individuals with the luminous faces, they look toward the mountains, the mountains would surely move upon there. And I'm like, why? What are they seeing? What are they seeing the face of Allah? What are they seeing previous in the face of Allah? To tell the purpose of spiritual nature to our people. When we have an opportunity to break through the seal of the message of the Bible, we say, I will try to try to do some spirit work for them, try to bring people who are the light of the thing to the same. Then he will expose himself in their heart. He will expose himself in their hearts. That's step number one of the tension is to use whatever means that we possibly can, by means of social networks and so on and so forth, to bring people forward about the message. Number two, be sincere of the cause of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And does that mean, uh, that means that in faith of the Holy Prophet, so Allah alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, lead these people toward Allah. So that is number two. Number three, in terms of our responsibilities, in terms of the meal, in terms of the message of the Bible, we say, I try to not to take the words of advice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this way. He says, Oh, go in our sabeel, and I'm taking out the picture of you, what the Hibbet and Hassan, what you are doing from the end of the act. Number one, Oh, go in our sabeel, and I'm saying, call people to the way of your people, and help people toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, a responsibility for every one of us to call people toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And amongst the means and amongst the ways to bring people toward Allah is by allowing them to participate in the faith and so on. Oh, do we not say that I'm big bad? I'm not the issues. The hikmati was the limited message. The hikmati means what? Number one, do it in extremely wise manner. Be careful in terms of the language that you use. Recognize your place, recognize your time, recognize your surroundings before bringing people toward the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Know who you're speaking to, and number two, know how to speak to those individuals. According to the scholars of the Arabic language, they speak of the word hikmah. It means wisdom, uh, uh, we call it a spiritual wisdom. But in reality, it means to provide intellectual evidences. To, 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 to break through toward those who you are speaking to. So go ahead and speak to a few different individuals. Speak to and understand them as well. Understand the tools that we have to bring people toward the message of Allah. We say, do, and do it very, very carefully. Do it very de- de- delicately. Understand the culture. Understand the language. Understand the people. And by this, bring people toward the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see, for instance, in throughout history, there are those also who have failed to have wisdom, those who fail to understand their time and their place. You see, for instance, there's a companion of Imam Asad, Ali Salatu was saying, this This companion of Imam Ali Salatu was extremely dedicated toward Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the Imam always told him, have the care, have the care, be careful of what you just said. He was an individual who, though he loved the Imam, he wasn't sure about how to demonstrate his love for the Imam. So if I, for instance, this particular uh, companion, he would go and tell everyone about the secret and about the miracles and about the Asra and about the Sadaq and Salat and Salat, which eventually, for instance, in, in terms of this particular individual, led to his killing by the Abbas of Salafah. They called him an extremist and they killed him. On the flip side, we see an individual by the name of Jabir ibn Yazid, a Jew. Jabir ibn Yazid, a Jew, he is a close companion of Imam al Baqir and of Imam al Sadaq. This particular individual is amongst those who contain the spiritual secrets of the Ahim Jabir ibn Yazid, a Jew. 
اور اس سے زیادہ دیگاری سکسر جبکہ امام صاحب علیہ السلام کا دیگاری 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 None of which I am allowed to speak in public. It's then that he comes to what he wants to start with what he wants to do. He asks him to look at the back of the house. He says, I'm going to be a person. He says, I'm going to be a person. And he has narrated the word. He is 60,000 a month. By the way, today, if you want to know, I'm going to see the fact that it's part of the law that's going to be a person. It's not the job of the doctor, the individual, who have narrated thousands of hadiths, which are narrated for me. Yet at the same time, he states that the Imams have narrated for me 90,000 hadiths, which are not about me. But the, the, the hadith of Jabal and Jabal are not a hadith about the Sunday. They were, again, like I said, about, you know, the Ottoman Empire, the spirituality, about the life of the Ottoman faith, and so on and so forth. Things which are very difficult for us to read in the first place. And difficult for us to read. He comes to Imam Asad and he says, Your father narrated towards me 60,000 Ahad. And he didn't permit me to speak any of them in public. So he's bothered me. But he raised it. He said, Over here, the next one. And for example, he's sitting to hear about the Fawad of Ali ibn Abi Talib. We hear about this great, wonderful story about Imam Asad. What's the first thing that we want to do? We become extremely excited. We're going to go and tell everyone about the greatness of these books. Because our love for these books. Who is a really close friend of the Lord? Someone who sat with the Lord, someone who spoke to the Lord, someone who knew about all of the secrets of the Lord of the Lord. Those who could not tell people what he knows. He looks to Imam Asad and says, Your father taught me 60,000 of them. And he did not permit me to utter any of them in public. And he took it from me. He said, Your father taught me. He said, Well, what can I do? I can't contain myself. Go towards the graveyard and find one, I, uh, one, one, one dug grave to where no one is buried in, and put, put, your, put your head in the ground and say that I'm going to drop it on you. And when the father of Hope is alive, he drops it on you. He says, Go towards the back. He would scream, Come on, but God will call you this, and I'm a son of Hope. But the father of Hope is still there. And he came and protected him in the arms of God, and raised him from the dead. This is the last thing we want to pick up. The hikmah from the Lord. Number one, be careful. Understand your surroundings. Understand your place. Understand who's around you. When you invite people, that's what you say. When you're inviting people toward the message of Allah. And when you're inviting people toward the message of Allah, that's the same. Ali Salaam says, Son, do you come up to speak for me? Do it in language that is nice. Do it in language that is beautiful. Do it in language very, very carefully. Don't abuse others. Don't bring down others to bring up your personality in itself. We find from Sayyidina Imam Asad and Ali Salaam to come, he tells his companion Abu Fadda. Abu Fadda is his great close companion of Imam Asad. And look at the way that he advises. He says, Ya Abu Fadda, because the Prophet perhaps did something which was not suitable for him to do in public. Imam Asad himself, he studied his Bible. He advises him that he would have known that the Prophet would have been with Hassan. He says, Ya Abu Fadda, in the Hadith of Sayyid Ahmad, Hadith was in Ka'a. والحسن من كل أحد حسن ومنك أحسن من ثلاثة أحسن. He says, oh, he says, whenever someone commits a bad action, whenever someone commits a bad deed, it's just a bad deed. But for you, it's a really bad deed. Why? Because you're close to sitting next to my feet. And then he states, حسن من كل أحد حسن وَمِنْكَ أَحْسَنْ وَمِنْكَ أَحْسَنْ وَمِنْكَ أَحْسَنْ And whatever someone performs a good deed, it's a good deed. And when you perform a good deed, it's a good deed. Why? Because you're not to make me. You could have told all the people, don't do that. All the people, this is a really good deed. A really bad deed. And he's going to tell them what he knows about the Lord of Hassan. And one of the deeds of the Lord of Hassan, the Lord of Hassan, the Lord of Hassan, the Lord of Hassan, was a strong message. And he started the law, his oppressor of the Prophet. Understand your surroundings, understand your place, understand that you need to use good words, and this will be the means which will bring people to an action that is safe, that will be a yakin. He asked, 
And finally, in our discussion today, our introductory vice words, that in order for us to bring people toward the message of God, I think that we need to be interacting with God by God's existence. We need to become our space. We need to move out of our hearts to the light. We need to become our souls to the light of the same who stay the freedom. We need to become amongst those individuals who honor the rituals of the Lord of the Saint at the same time who act like the Saint. You see, the greatest example of the Saint is the Prophet of Islam, Ali Salatu Islam. Don't take it out of the Saint. We come over here, we read for that the Saint, and we call ourselves the Saint because we are a child of the Saint of the Lord. Absolutely. And who what more than the Lord?
Ni chika ni mwanawas asili kama bumbo ame mama ni kwa ari sarati na salam ya mtu na mtu na ina ni responsibility. Wewe ni mtu na mtu na ina sarati na salam ya mtu na mtu na ina ni Son, Abba, Abdullah. The narration states that at this moment, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make a picture for Sayyid al Zahra to see of the tragedy of Aba Abdullah. And the narration states that Fatima al Zahra looked toward this top screen, looked toward this picture that only shows the body of Imam al Hussein without a heart. And she lets out a scream that the angels begin to weep. And every single man, every single woman, Every single individual on the day of judgment, they weep upon hearing the scream of Fatima of Zahra. But my brothers and sisters, the only thing that Fatima saw was the body of Abba Abdullah. Imagine if he had seen Shabbat sitting on the body of Imam Hussein. Imagine if he had seen the six-month-old. 